Welcome everyone, we are here at the next video on my channel Global Terminance portrait by Ernst Kreusel. Today we talk about the Profil Beton Super Cup which happened one and a half week ago. The exact date was March 26, 2022. For the case you're wondering, because I didn't talk about the first stage of the Super European Global League in the North Division and about the Pan American Games, which happened in February. Both tournaments happened in February. The reason for that is I had technical problems with my laptop again. <laughs> I already had that last year, but with this time again. If you want to see a video about these two terminants, please let me know in the comments. If you want to have that, I will do that later. But now I talk about the Profil Beton Super Cup which happened in Marburg, where the four best teams of the German global played. The mode of the tournament was that these four teams played in two semi-final games. The winners played in the final game, the losers played in the bronze medal game. Now I tell you the four teams which competed in, and that was Füchse Berlin, the RGC Hansa from Rostock, the BVSV Nürnberg, and the host, the SSG Blister Marburg. Now I talk about the lineups the teams had. I start with the Füchse Berlin, and the lineup of Füchse Berlin was Ernst Kreusel. Michael Dennis, Amanda Dennis, Chandreza Malici, and Robin Peter as players. They played without a coach. The RGC Hansa from Rostock had as players John Tolov, Renaud Tide, Kilian Kolreb, Sergei Zuludev, and Kate Glasena. As coaches, they had Mario Tolov and Christoph Götz. The team from Nürnberg as players René Linke, Dominic Checo, Thomas Steiger, Jennifer Koch, Leonard Hassler and Enrico Katzer and as coach Michael Heuer. And last but not least, the host from Marburg. As players, they had Roman Kayumi, Niels Emig, Stephanie Behrens, and Katrin Denker, Sebastian Hofmann, and Kershat Özdemir. And as coach, they had Philipp Golvan. Next, I come to my personal predictions before the games started. Fourth place will be Marburg, third place Rostock, second place Nürnberg and first place Berlin. The reason why I thought Marburg will reach the fourth place that was because they lost the best player of their history, I think. Michael Dennis, he played for Marburg until last year. He was an important fact for reaching the third place at the Bundesliga, the German Championship, and winning the Liga Pokal. He scored the most goals for Marburg. And also in the defense, not only this year, I don't know exactly how long he played for Marburg. I mean, since 2009, but yeah, I mean, since 2009, if you have other informations, you can tell that in the comments, but I mean, he started playing goalball in 2009 
and yeah, he played his whole career for Marburg until today. So yeah, that was a big loss for Marburg that Michael Dennis left the club. Also a big loss, Amanda Dennis left the club. Amanda Dennis also played for Marburg last year. And now she also plays for Berlin. So yeah, Marburg lost two really important players. For sure, they still have really good players. For example, Nils Emig or Roman Kayumi, a good center player. But like I said, losing Michael Dennis and also Amanda Dennis was a big loss for Marburg. And yeah, because of that, I thought they will reach the fourth place. On third place, Rostock. Maybe everyone is wondering about that because Rostock is the current German champion. But if you look on the lineup who won the German championship, you do see that they only had two players of this lineup at this tournament with John Toloff and Reno Tide. For sure, Sergei Toludev and also Kilian Kolreb stood on the lineup at the final stage of the German championship but they didn't play a lot and in the deciding games and in the deciding moments they never stood on the court. If you want to be exactly for 100% you can say they belong to the lineup who won the German championship but you know what I mean. I mean if you look on the players who made the deciding moments at this German championship, you can't name Sergei and Kilian. So they only had John Toloff and Reno Tide. The most important player of the lineup from the German championship, Felix Rogge, left the club after the end of last season. And Konrad Andrejczuk also wasn't rare. But the reason for that is another story and I don't want to talk about it any further. They only had John Toloff and Reno Tide. Reno Tide is the captain of the RGC Hansa already since the club was founded in 2014. And with John Toloff they have a player who's 20 years old, so a really young player. And I can tell you, he developed rapidly. Now he's also a really high class player here in Germany. But he had to play on the position which isn't his first position. They played with Sergei Zoludev on the center position, with Reno Tedem on the left, and John Toloff on the right, and John Toloff is actually a left wing or also a center player but not a right wing player and that's the reason why I thought if they play with this lineup it can't be possible that they reach the final. Not that they are bad, don't get me wrong, but if you want to reach the final you have to be a really high class team. Now I come to the second place, Nürnberg. I thought Nürnberg will reach the final game because they actually had a good starting three with Dominic Cecho, Thomas Steiger and Fabian Diem. But Fabian Diem wasn't rare at the Super Cup. That changed the quality of the team Nürnberg. So that changed the quality of the team Nürnberg. And they played with Dominic Cecho, Thomas Steiger and René Linke. And the reason why I thought that Berlin will win the title, that's not because I play for Berlin, I play for the Fuchs of Berlin. But it doesn't matter to me for which team I play, if I look on which team will win the tournament. I only look on the quality from the team. And if I look on the team quality from Berlin, I have to say they have the best player of the German goalball with Michael Dennis. Then they have a 
Paralympic silver medalist with Amanda Dennis. She's a member of the USA women's national global team, which won the silver medal at the Paralympic Games in Tokyo. And in general, I mean, Amanda Dennis belongs to the best female global players at the whole world. So yeah, then they have me. I don't want to talk about myself at this time I have to do. And about me, I would say that I'm a center player and I'm only a center player. Theoretically, I can play on the right wing and also on the left wing, but yeah, you can win championships with me on the wing. If you want to win a title with me in the starting three, I have to play on the center position, but on the center position, I'm able to play on really high standards. With Robin Peter, a player who already played for the German youth national team in the past, he also played the first division for Königs Wusterhausen. And last year, he promoted into the first division with Königs Wusterhausen. They played at the second division and they reached the promotion into the first division of the German national championship. And don't forget Chandresa Malici. She's a former German women's national player. That was the reason why I thought Fritzel Berlin will reach the first place. Nürnberg will reach the second place. Rostock the third place and Marburg the fourth place. I tell you the final standings. I talk about how the games ended. The first semi final was Rostock against Nürnberg. Rostock played with Sergei Zeludev, Renel Tiedem, and John Torloff. And Nürnberg, they started with Dominic Tcheko, Thomas Steiger, and Rene Linke. In the first minutes, Nürnberg wasn't really on the court and Rostock used that to score their goals. They lead it 4-0. But then Nürnberg fight it back and they came back with the 1-4, then the 2-4, the 3-4 and finally the 4-4 equalizer. And then Rostock came with a 5-4 and that was the halftime score. In the second half, Rostock scored the 6-4, but Nürnberg fight it back to make the score 5-6 and also 6-6. But after the 6-6, they made a substitution. They bring Enrico Katza on the court for Rene Linke. And that was the reason why Nürnberg lost the game in the end. Because, yeah, Enrico Katza made a couple mistakes and then Rostock scored the goals they needed. And in the end, Rostock won 13 to 8. So Rostock reached the final game and it was well deserved. Second semi final was. The Füchse Berlin against SSG Blister Marburg. The starting three from SSG Blister Marburg was Roman Kayumi on center, Nils Emig on the right ring, and Sebastian Hofmann on the left ring. Berlin started with Ernst Kreusel on center position. Michael Dennis on the right ring and Robin Peter on the left ring. Already in the first minute, Berlin scored the 1-0 lead by Michael Dennis. After the 1-0, directly the next shot, Ernst Kreuzel scored the second goal, the 2-0. Then Marburg came back with the 1-2. Berlin answered with the 3-1. After that, Berlin made a timeout and 
directly after the timeout and Kreuzel threw a high ball. That was a bad mistake. Everyone knows that if you run the lead, you can't throw a penalty. That's the baddest thing you can do. But I did and I had to defend the penalty and Marburg scored the penalty to came back to make the score 2-3. And then about the completely first half, I can tell you that Berlin was the better team and they actually dominate the game, but they often gave opportunities to Marburg to came back into the game. Also at the second half, in the second half, they already lead eight to four, but even then Marburg came back with scoring the 5-8, the 6-8, and finally the 7-8. But after the 7-8, directly the next shot was the 9-7 for Berlin. And the final score was 10-7 for Berlin. And then the bronze medal game was Nürnberg against Marburg. Nürnberg had a really terrible start. Marburg lead it 4-0 after two minutes or so. Marburg dominated the game until the middle of the second half where they lead it 9-4. But then Nürnberg came back and Marburg made, yeah, many mistakes and most of the goals Nürnberg scored in the gap between Roman, Roman Kayumi and Kershat Özdemir. And then Nürnberg came back and then at the last minute, Nürnberg equalized the game to make the score 12-12. Then Marburg scored the 13-12 and Nürnberg again equalized the game with the 13-13. And that was the final score. Then the game went into overtime. And in the overtime, the rule is golden goal. So the first goal wins the game. And the golden goal was scored by Nürnberg. The goal scorer was Thomas Steiger with a shot into the corner of Kershaw Özdemir. So Nürnberg won the game. They won the bronze medal game. Also, they had a really terrible start. And also Marburg dominated the game until the middle of the second half. But yeah, we get the final score is the score who matters and not who dominated the game. So yeah, Nürnberg won the game and took the bronze medal. Now we come to the final game. In the final game, Berlin played against Rostock. And the starting three for Rostock was Sergei Zuludev on center position, Renault Tide on the left wing, and John Torloff on the right wing. And the starting three for Berlin me, Ernst Kreuzel on the center position. This time Michael Dennis on the left ring and Amanda Dennis on the right ring. At the final game, Rostock started with the ball and the first throw was saved by Berlin. Then Michael Dennis came with the first throw for Berlin and he directly scored the 1-0 lead. Then a minute later, he scored another goal to make the score 2-0. The score remained for two minutes. Then John Torloff scored a goal for Rostock. He directly threw the ball after the referee said, cry please play, because he threw that fast. Berlin reacted too late. They weren't able to save the net. So they came back with 1-2. Then John Torloff scored another goal later 
to make the score 2-2. And Michael Dennis came with a 3-2 for Berlin. Then Rostock equalized the score by Renault Tiedem. After that, John Toller threw a long ball, which was scored by Michael Dennis to make the score 4-3 for Berlin. And this 4-3 lead was the last time Berlin leaded at this final game. Rostock scored at first the 4-4, then the 5-4 and the 6-4. That was the halftime score, 6-4 for Rostock. In the second half, Berlin started with a ball and Michael Dennis took the first throw and he did the same like he did in the first half. He directly scored the first goal with his first throw to make the score 5-6. But then Rostock came back with a 7-5 and that was the story of the complete second half. Berlin scored a goal to came back, but then Rostock scored another goal and then Rostock lead it by 10-8, two minutes before the end. Then Berlin came with a 9-10 and 40 seconds before the end they scored the 10-10 equalizer and that was also the final score of the regular time. So also the final game ran into overtime and as far as I said in the overtime we ruled this golden goal so if you score the first goal you are the champion and Rostock started with a ball John Toloff threw a ball between the gap of he and Amanda Dennis, and the ball was saved. And then Michael Dennis took the ball. You remember, in the first half, he scored the first goal with his first throw. In the second half, he scored the first throw with his first throw. And also here, at the overtime, he scored with his first throw. And yeah, that was the golden goal for Berlin. And Berlin won the title. Rostock won the silver medal and Berlin won the gold medal. All 11 goals from Berlin were scored by Michael Dennis. He was the hero of the game and you can also name Amanda Dennis as a hero because she made a perfect job defensively. She didn't got one goal against in the final game. The one who got the most goals against himself was me. I was guilty for 8 of the 10 goals we got against. I said I'm a good center player and I still believe that I'm a good center player, but I want to be so honest and say that I played really badly at this tournament. Not only at the final game, also at the semi-final game against Marburg. I didn't play what I can. And with that, I now start with the individual criticism for the players. I already talked about the Fuchs of Berlin. You can name Michael Dennis as a hero for the team because he scored every goal at the final game and also nearly every goal at the semi-final game. And also Amanda Dennis, she played a really good tournament defensively for sure. She threw two high ball penalties at the semi-final game against Marburg after she came on the court at the second half for Robin Peter. But yeah, like I said, she didn't got any goal against in the final game against Rostock. And about me, I already told you that I didn't play what I can and I wasn't happy with my personal performance. Now I come to the RGC Hansa Rostock. Then yeah, the 
the main problem why they didn't won the championship was the gap between Sergei Zaludev and John Torloff and also the corner of John Torloff where Berlin scored most of the goals in the final game and also Nürnberg at the second half they scored the most of the goals in the gap between Zaludev and Torloff. About Nürnberg I can tell you they had terrible starts in both games against Rostock and also against Marburg but in both games they managed to fight back into the game and against Marburg they won in the end and reached this medal and last but not least Marburg yeah they reached the last place the fourth place and although they reached the last place I mean they didn't have to be sad about their performance because as far as I said they lost two important players and nevertheless they fight it really great against Berlin and also at the bronze medal game against Nuremberg as far as I said they dominated the the whole game until the middle of the second half and they directly lead it 4-0 after two minutes and then 9-4 in the middle of the second half but in this case I also have to say if you lead 9-4 in the middle of the second half you have to manage it to defend this score and if not, that's definitely your own mistake. If you can't reach to defend a five, a five goal lead. So yeah, that's, that was the Profilbeton Super Cup. And yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, we will meet again next video. Until then, I wish you all the best. Take care and goodbye.